Hi, I'm Halif, and I'm half of the Round the World guys. In the last video, I went to explore Sofia, the capital city of Bulgaria, by joining two different walking tours around the city. The best way to orient myself in a new place. Uh, let's just start, okay? I really enjoy my stay here in Sofia so far, and my exploration in Bulgaria continues. I love cable cars and I can stand here for a whole day just watching them passing by. I'm just geeking out now too. Hey, good morning y'all. This is a little bit of a chilly morning so far in Sofia. And today we're gonna do an excursion. There's a must visit monastery just located about two hours from Sofia that I'm gonna visit this morning. And there's a shuttle already arranged for us from the hostel and we are ready to the go. Museum cost a Bulgarian lev, which is recommended to visit. Any questions overall? No? So I wish you a great day. I'll see you later, yeah? All right, let's get cozy here. <laughs> is here at the Rila National Park and we have about 20 minute hike to the tomb of Saint John of Rila which the monastery is dedicated after. This is absolutely beautiful. I love seeing all these colors that already changed from the leaves. Fall season is definitely here in Bulgaria. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful hike. I didn't expect to be this hikey, I guess, but we made it. <laughs> there he is. The interior is beautiful. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to really step up my Bulgarian because all the information here are written in Cyrillic in Bulgarian. But I believe this is one of the sites that a lot of pilgrimage make. And here you get a small church, so beautiful inside as well as like a cave but i just love the setting of this church i mean this is such a beautiful national park i can see how this site is pretty significant for bulgarians all right time to go inside the cave i suppose it's supposed to be a pretty tight space here hello hi all right, <laughs> all right. it is pretty tight already uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah seems like <laughs> I assume we go up here. Yes, there's a ladder. Actually, the ladder going all the way up there, but it doesn't seem to be anything up there. And we've got some religious items here. It's quite eerie. Okay. Oh. Okay. Up the cave. So I just learned that the cave is a very significant spot, and it is said that if you could go through the two rocks, getting into the cave. You're a good person. You're so always clear. Oh, yeah. It's good yeah. to know. Yes. Uh, I passed through. Does it mean I'm a good person? Yes. Time to go to the actual monastery. As soon as you approach a monastery, you know in the monastery because there's so many cars already. And as a result, we couldn't find any parking spot, so we have to park all the way down outside technically the monastery. But not big deal, it's not that far out, and I'm excited to explore the monastery. I made it here to the village outside the uh, monastery. We have about two hours to explore, so let's go. Well, this is it guys, this is the Rila Monastery and the monastery was established back in the 10th century but the oldest structure that you can find here nowadays was back from the 1300s but this is absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of people here <laughs> All right, let's do a quick recap. The Rila Monastery was founded by Saint Ion the Rilski, and the building right behind me is the main attraction right now as the Rila Monastery. 
This church was completed, or at least dated, in 1870, as it's written on the top of the church. But the oldest structure in this whole complex is this bell tower, dated back to the 1300s, and we can climb up. It is so beautiful and I love the fall colors too. It's in the background, it's just a beautiful experience so far. Wow! Look at the domes too. It's just so detailed. I've never seen anything like that before. The inside of the church as well as the outside of the church filled with fresco from floor to ceiling. Apart from tourists speaking pretty loudly, it was solemn inside. There are still people who came here to pay pilgrimage. Look how detailed everything is. I bet everything is hand painted for <laughs> I don't know centuries. Wow, I'm I'm speechless. This is this is amazing. So I see the sun is shining directly through all these murals over here. That could be problematic. Ooh, can I touch it? Can I touch it? No, obviously. This monastery is still an active monastery. The uh, level above all these porticos are active dormitories for priests. Unfortunately, we can't visit any of them. But imagine if you have to live here. <laughs> it's just pretty. At the bell tower, you can see the quality of the uh, fresco. Yeah, maybe it's not too pretty like the main church, but it's definitely something's going on. All right, coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely use some coffee now. She also sells some donut and supposedly it's a really good donut, but I think I'm gonna pass this time. But the bread maybe they not have today, but us. Oh, okay, ask. we'll do. Okay, thank you. Mm, good coffee. Monastery coffee. So apparently, one thing that you have to do while visiting the Rila Monastery is to taste the monastery bread called Metkitsa. And today is my lucky day because it is sold in this little village next to the monastery. That's a lot. <laughs> right now we're lining up for some monastery bread. Definitely gonna give a try. Hello? Could I get two bread and one okay. yogurt, please? Five. Five. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Matkitsa reminds me a lot of beignet, especially when you have the sprinkle powdered sugar on top of it. And I was told the serving of Matkitsa is best enjoyed with a cup of yogurt that was invented here in Bulgaria. Mmm, yep, it's definitely a beignet, but it also tastes like funnel cake. It is warm, it is soft, it smells oily and it is delicious. This is definitely something that I like. It's so good. Especially when you're hungry. Mmm, monastery yogurt. It's fresh, it's pretty good. It's really good. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. And if you like to follow along with our journey all around, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. The whole inside of the church and also the outside. <coughs> Sorry, I got a raspy voice now.